question is find the minimum number of tables required for converting the following entity relationship diagram into relational database so er diagram is given to us and we need to convert this er diagram into relational database so the question here is that how many tables will be required to convert this er diagram into relational database so if you will observe the entity relationship diagram clearly you can observe one to many relationship is given to us one to many relationship is given to us so for r1 relation 1 we need one table for r1 we need one table for r1 as well as we will require one separate table for r2 and you can observe here that the entity b is multi valued it is multi valued that is why we will also require one separate table for it so total three tables i will require to convert this er diagram into relational database so option 3 is the correct answer guys previous first to 55 questions we have already solved in uh, first 11 parts five questions in each part and the link is given into the description section so you can uh, go to the description section and uh, watch the previous papers questions they are right we have already solved june 2019 and 2018 and it is december 2019 so for seeing previous years paper you can watch the solution in our ugc net playlist as well and you can get the link from the description section and guys i am requesting you to guys please subscribe youtube channel and like the video so that at least we get the positive response from you and we can proceed for ahead and we can also make some brilliant kind of lectures for you which will really help for for you in your upcoming all kind of csit exams now let's solve the question number 57 the question is let a to the power 2 c mod n equals to a to the power c whole power 2 mod n and a to the power 2 c plus 1 mod n equals to a into a to the power c 2 mod n for a equals to 7 b equals to 17 and n equals to 561 what is the value of a to the power b mod n so these are the equations are given to us we can use it wherever we want here the question is that a to the power b mod n we need to uh, find the value of this where a value of a is 7 b is 17 and n is 561 means mod 561 so it's nothing but 7 to the power 17 mod 61 we need to find the value of this so i can write it like 7 if i factorize it then to for easierness i can write it 7 into 7 to the power 4 its whole power 2 and its whole power 2 4 to the 8 to the 16 plus 1 17 and i can write it mod 561 now let's solve it if i solve the 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 means 7 to the power 4 i will get 2401 so 7 is As it is there, then two four zero one. It's whole square, and again it's whole square, right? Mod five sixty one. I can write it like seven into one fifty seven. The whole square. It's again whole square. Mod five sixty one. Why I can write it like that? Because two four zero one. I solved it with mod sixty one. So. Uh, here you can understand it like that 2401 mod 561 is nothing but 157 so i just uh, write the value of this here now if i further solve this 7 into 157's whole square the value of 157's whole square is 24649 its a whole square is there n mod 561 similarly i can write it like 7 into Minus thirty five is whole square. Why? Because two four six four nine is there. So I can write it like two four six four nine mod five sixty one. I will get five twenty six as an answer. But I can also write it like minus thirty five. So I just put the value here. Now seven into minus thirty five whole square. On further solving, I can write it like seven into One two two five. I just expand thirty five whole square, so it's like that. In one two two five with mod 
561 if i will go through that then it's it will be 7 into 103 which, which is nothing but 721 mod 561 and if i will further solve this then i will get 721 561 the mod is nothing but 160 so 160 is the correct answer option 1 is the right answer so guys i am again requesting you to like the video and subscribe the youtube channel so that at least we get some positive response from you so that we can solve further questions for you and we will also try to provide some important pdfs some important lectures which will helpful for you in ugc net not only in ugc net but for all kind of csit exams like nilit iso cs gate cs pgtrb tntrb dsssb pgt kvs and PGT and TGT computer science like all kind of IBPS SO so for all kind of CS and IT exams I am just requesting you to just subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get in touch with the latest notifications of these exams. Now the next question here is consider the following statements. Statement one: These exist. There exist. Okay. there exist no algorithm for deciding if any two turing machine m1 and m2 accept the same language so it is true statement in the theory of turing machine we have learned in the classroom that there isn't any kind of full algorithm which can decide whether the turing machine m1 and turing machine m2 have same language or not that is why it is undecidable as well so it is true statement S2 let m1 and m2 be arbitrary turing machine m1 and m2 is there which is arbitrary turing machine any turing machine the problem to determine that machine 1 is a subset of machine 2 is undecidable it is also true we have discussed the properties of turing machine in properties of turing machine we have discussed that there isn't any kind of algorithm which can determine as that whether any turing machine is subset of other or not that is why it's also undecidable so both the statement s1 and s2 is true so option 3 is the correct answer the next question is which of the component module of dbms does rearrangement and possible ordering of operations eliminate redundancy in query and use efficient algorithms and indexes during the execution of query so the options are like query or compiler query optimizer stored data manager and database processor the question is does rearrangement and possible ordering of operations eliminate redundancy from the redundancy elimination i just got one point in my mind that query optimizer eliminate redundancy query optimizer is the correct answer the next question is consider the following statement with respect to approaches to fill area on raster system so it is the question from computer graphics and every year they uh, ask one questions from either raster system so like that so you can visit computer graphics playlist in our channel and you can find raster systems one of the important lecture which will really helpful for you if you are preparing for net because one one questions definitely they will ask from this so don't miss that and search the computer graphic playlist and in that raster system is there raster and vector system is there so watch both the lectures there now the statement is to determine uh, raster system basically uh, they are used for to determine the overlap intervals for scan lines that cross the area and to start from a given interior position and paint outward from them from this point until we encounter an unspecific boundary condition so in the theory of raster system you will find both these points so again option 3 is the right answer so guys i hope the first 60 questions which i have discussed with you are clear to you if you have any kind of doubts or queries in this first 60 questions then you can ask here in any of the video in the comment section i will try to solve them as early as possible and further if you have any kind of queries or doubts regarding any concept of computer science which you are reading at your home then also you can comment so that i can try to solve them as well so if you have any kind of computer science doubts or query just put in our sec comment section and i will try to solve them as early as possible so guys please stay tuned with us keep watching us and please like our youtube channel 
this video and subscribe to us and stay tuned with us have a very very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat